Austin hosted the reality show Tough Enough. In 2011, Austin signed on to host the revived reality TV series Tough Enough. The USA Network's website describes the show, WWE Tough Enough is an action-packed competition reality show from the ratings juggernaut WWE. Featuring a new format with live elements, the series gives unknown athletes a chance at being crowned the next WWE superstar or diva. Fans can expect harder challenges, fiercer competition and rivalries that are more dramatic than ever. Austin served as the show's host for one season 10 episodes before a change in the competition's format caused him to be unneeded. Austin was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Stone Cold Steve Austin is one of the most successful WWE wrestlers ever. He won six WWE championships, two Intercontinental Championships, and three Royal Rumble victories. To recognize his achievements, Austin was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2009. Austin has his own brand of beer. Wrestling fans may remember that Austin loved to dramatically chuck cans of beer while in the ring, which lead to his nickname Steve Weiser. In 2015, Austin was able to capitalize on his love of beer. The former pro wrestler teamed up with El Segundo Brewing Company to produce an officially endorsed beer called Broken Skulls IPA. The brew is said to have a citrus hint, low bitterness, and a hoppy flavor. Austin hosts a game show called Redneck Island. In 2012, country music television hired the bionic Redneck to host their reality game show Redneck Island. The show is a survivor-style competition that challenges 12 people to compete in mental and physical challenges. At the end of every episode, one contestant gets voted off, and the last one standing takes home a cash prize. Redneck Island has thus far been a success for CMT. The show finished its fifth season with Austin hosting all five seasons in March of 2016. Wrestling injuries took a toll on Austin. As one can imagine, being a professional wrestler involves a copy's amount of personal injury. In a SummerSlam 1997 match against Owen Hart, a botched pile driver almost broke Austin's neck. The resulting injury required months of rehabilitation and kept him out of the ring for an extended period of time. Austin also has a history of knee and back problems, and at one point was diagnosed with a torn rotator cuff that required surgery. He explained the injury, I f asterisk seek it up my shoulder trying to train too heavy and it was a bunch of wear and tear and some bullsh asterisk t. I end up tearing the infraspinatus and the supraspinatus, so the preoperative diagnosis when I went in to see Dr. Eel Elytrate was rotator cuff tear, bicep tendinosis and instability, AC joint arthrosis, and degenerative lateral tear. Okay, turns out after all the MRI, I had a rotator cuff tear, bicep tendinosis and instability, AC joint arthrosis, and degenerative lateral tear so many injuries it's a miracle that Austin can even walk anymore. Austin's had a pretty successful Hollywood career. For every Dwayne The Rock Johnson, there are a slew of professional wrestlers that fail to, to convert their prestige into successful acting careers. While Austin is no Johnson, he's done quite well for himself landing a steady stream of roles in movies and TV. Austin has appeared in multiple episodes of the series Nash Bridges, 
playing the role of Detective Jake Cage. However, his biggest success came with Sylvester Stallone's 2010 action film The Expendables. In the box office hit, Austin joined a star-studded cast to portray Dan Payne, who also happens to be a former wrestler. Austin also appeared in Grown Ups 2, The Longest Yard, and The Condemned. Austin gave President Trump a stone-cold stunner. During 2007's WrestleMania 23, Donald Trump and Vince McMahon squared off for the Battle of the Billionaires. Longtime friends Trump and McMahon engaged in a pretend WWE-style feud wherein each enlisted a wrestler to fight on their behalf and the winner got to shave the loser's head in front of 80,000 rabid fans. Austin was initially hired to serve as a guest referee, but was enlisted by McMahon to demonstrate the wrath of his signature move the Stone Cold Stunner on Trump. In a later interview, Austin said that he began by explaining to Trump how the sit-out 3-4 facelock jawbreaker move worked. I briefly explained how the stunner works. I'm gonna kick him in the stomach not very hard then I'm gonna put his head on my shoulder and we're gonna drop down. That's the move. No rehearsal. Decided right in the dressing room. 15 minutes before we're gonna go out in front of 80,000 people. Austin admitted that Trump's handlers did not think that he should participate in such a farce, especially without rehearsal, and in front of tens of thousands of people. However, Stone Cold said that Trump agreed to do it without hesitation. In the end, Trump's wrestler won the match, and he got to shave McMahon's head as agreed upon. However, many people were too fixated on the image of Austin giving Trump a stone-cold stunner to even notice who won. Austin hosted the Broken Skull Challenge. In 2014, the former professional wrestler signed on to host his third reality show, titled Steve Austin's Broken Skull Challenge. The series is described as a competition where ball busters compete in challenges such as the Nutcracker and the Mud Bath to reach the final challenge, the Skull Buster. The show has been a hit for both CMT and Austin. During season four of the series, episodes averaged 2 million weekly viewers, which prompted the network to renew Austin's contract for a fifth season in 2017. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.